Hey everybody, you're watching CNN. I want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world. I'm Braden Shanks reporting from Orlando. We have breaking news as we come on the air. The striking writers in Hollywood studios are in the quote, final phase of negotiations and they hope to strike a deal to end the historic work stoppage that has paralyzed the entertainment industry by the end of the weekend. Two people familiar with the matter told CNN. The Writers Guild of America and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers spent today negotiating for the fourth consecutive day. The big, four, the big four studio bosses, Warner Bros. Discovery Chief David Zasloff, Disney Chief Bob Iger, Netflix Co-Chief Ted Starandos, and NBC Universal Studio Chairman Don and Langley. They were all no longer in the Sherman Oaks room by this afternoon, one person said, signaling nearly all of the major issues had been resolved. The person stressed, though, while not directly in the room, the studio chiefs remain wholly engaged in the process. Now, the spokesperson, spokespeople for the AMPTP and the WGA did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The WGA went on strike May 2nd, with the work stoppage reaching its 145th day, putting it within two weeks of the longest strike in the union's history, which lasted 154 days in 1988. Many productions had halted even before SAG-AFTRA joined the WGA strike on July 14th. All right, everybody, let's continue with this. Breaking news, in case you haven't seen, New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez was charged on Friday with corruption-related offenses for the second time in 10 years. Menendez and his wife are accused of accepting, quote, hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes, end quote. This is in exchange for the senator's influence, according to the newly unsealed federal indictment. Prosecutors allege the bribes included gold, cash, home mortgage payments, compensation for a, quote, low or no-show job, end quote and a luxury vehicle. This is the second set of corruption charges levied by, against Menendez by the Justice Department in a decade. He previously fought off conspiracy bribery and honest services fraud related to personal favors. The senator is up for the re-election next year and has been in the Senate for since 2006. All right, we're going to take a quick break. And when we can return, we're going to have new polling on Trump in the Republican race and how he doesn't have a single ch strong challenger right now. You're live in the CNN newsroom. We will be right back. Welcome back. All hope is not dead for Donald Trump's Republican rivals, but anyone seeking to emerge as a genuine challenger must soon begin to collace opposition to the ex-president to slow his chance toward a third straight GOP nomination. A new CNN and SSRS poll showing the ex-president's big lead steady in the first primary state of New Hampshire, an escalation of the campaign in Iowa, and frustrations among the donors over a bloated field that is splitting the anti-Trump vote are injecting new urgency into the race four months before voting starts. But for anyone to seriously damage Trump in the Granite State and elsewhere, one candidate would need to emerge in a still bloated field as a choice of all voters who oppose him. There is no sign yet of any of the chasing pack being willing to cede their own ambitions in favor of their rivals in order to top Trump. And if Trump doesn't take on this on severe damage in the first two contests, it's hard to see how his momentum can be halted as the race turns south and to big state primaries loaded with nominating delegates. This is why this is one reason why next week's second Republican debate at Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California will be important because it will offer another chance for a member of the chasing bunch to break out. CNN will have analysis of the debate afterwards. Be sure to tune in for that. One last programming note, CNN's Champions for Change will air tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. You won't want to miss it. All these important stories from your favorite CNN anchors. And that's a wrap for this hour of CNN Newsroom. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and X at Brave Reports. I'm Braden Shanks here in the CNN Newsroom. CNN's coverage continues after this short break. Good night, everyone. <laughs>